In this video, I'll be reviewing and I'll show you how to set up and use the Keurig Caselin coffee maker. So let's get started. The Keurig Caselin measures 15.2 inches in depth, 4.7 inches in width and 12.1 inches high. Open the lid and it becomes 16.75 inches high. The drip tray is not height adjustable but it is removable. It lets you use a travel mug up to 7 inches tall. With the drip tray attached you can use a mug 6.19 inches tall. The K-Slim model has a single stream needle entry point. It comes with a 46 ounce water reservoir which is designed for easy handling. And this is one of the best features I love about the Curie coffee makers, especially when comparing it to Nespresso. Having this just makes it so much easier to lift and hold without it slipping out of your hand. And trust me, I have dropped the Nespresso water tank a few times. To attach the water reservoir to the machine, you'll just slide it onto these two grooves here and that'll make it nice and snug against the machine. If you don't use or have filtered water, you'll want to install the Keurig water filter that can be bought separately because it doesn't come with the machine. So open one of the filter cartridges and soak it for 5 minutes. And while that's soaking, I'm just going to wash out the water reservoir before using it. After soaking the filter cartridge for 5 minutes, you're going to need to rinse it for one more minute. Once you're all done, you'll take the water filter handle and open it towards the bottom here by pressing it inwards until the bottom part slides out. Then pop the filter cartridge onto the base here matching the flat sides together. Then attach the top part of the handle until it clicks in. Then you'll insert the water filter into the water reservoir until you hear it click and it's secured nice and tight. And then finally fill up the water reservoir and place it onto the machine. Okay, let's plug in the coffee maker and if you open and close the lid, it will power on and the cup sizes will flash. The K-Slim has three cup sizes to choose from, an 8 ounce, a 10 ounce and a 12 ounce. You'll see the add water button and a descale button. The first thing we're going to do is run a cleansing brew. So pop a mug or a jug in place, open and close the lid without inserting a pod, then press the 8 ounce button and then press the center brewing K button. You can also choose a 10 ounce or a 12 ounce to run the cleaning brew, or you can even run the eight ounce twice if you're really paranoid and you just wanna make sure that it's nice and clean. Okay, once that's all done, you can throw out the water and now you're ready to brew your first cup of coffee. So I'll insert a pod and I'm just going to select an eight ounce. Press the flashing brewing K button it takes about 10 seconds for it to heat the water up and dispense and I'll let you guys watch and hear the brewing process. and it will take 71 seconds to brew an 8 ounce cup of coffee give or take a couple of seconds let's check the temperature and it's showing 162 161 degrees fahrenheit and that's not very hot at all let's also take a look at the splash zone it's splashed out quite a bit unfortunately even a few drops on the counter, but yeah, even a lot of splashes on the back of the machine here. Okay, remember to remove the K-Pod before brewing your next cup of coffee because it won't automatically eject. 
Next I'll show you how to use the Keurig My K Cup reusable coffee filter. So with this K-Slim model, you don't need the grey adapter. It's to be used with the older 2.0 Keurig models. So just remove this for now and on top here you'll see the lock symbols. Turn it counterclockwise to unlock and then pull out the grey mesh basket. Under the lid you'll see a removable red plug and you'll need to keep this in when you're using it with the K-Slim machine. The extra holes are for the Multistream K-Supreme models because they have five needles but for all the other models that have a single needle you just need to use this red plug to cover the extra four holes. Okay so this time I'll just add some loose tea leaves to the grey mesh basket. Pop the lid on making sure it's secure all the way around. Then insert it into the black holder lining it up with the unlock symbol and then turn it clockwise to lock it. But before we add this to the machine we do need to remove this K-cup pod holder. You're just going to give it a push from underneath until it pops out from the top and then slide it out from the top. And then you can see that there's one needle in there as well so be careful. Add the My K-cup reusable filter with the arrow here pointing towards the back. Let's put my mug underneath and then I'm just going to brew another 8 ounce and then press the flashing K button. Let's check the temperature again and it's showing 100 and, so 163, 162. Sorry, I, don't, I know you can't see with the light on but I can make out 162 here. So again, not very hot. Okay, so you want to remove the My K Cup reusable filter and throw out the loose coffee grounds or tea leaves before they get dry and hard in there. And then if you plan to use pods again, then you want to insert the pod holder back in. So overall, the machine has a nice design with it being less than five inches wide. It's perfect if you have less counter space. Unfortunately, the performance is a little lacking. The water is not as hot as the, some of the other Keurig models, and especially once you've added your cold milk. And then there's just too many splashes I noticed on the counter and at the back of the machine. You're actually much better off buying the new K-Express model. It's cheaper, it's faster, and the water is much hotter. If you wanna watch for yourselves, I'll leave a link in the description and also in the video. Alright guys, any questions, comments, please leave them below and don't forget to give this video a like and I hope to catch you in my next video.